Hey everyone, um, right now I'm just making a quick little video on how to make El Kinetic 3 work in case you had the same problems as me because it took me like an hour or two to get this working which is really frustrating. So my scenario was I have the SL Unifans version 1 so I got them like a year or two ago so they're pretty old at this point but they still look really nice so I'm not going to upgrade them. But what I, I had El Kinect 2 and I wanted to get El Kinect 3 because I'm planning on getting some streamer cables uh, soon. And the first thing you have to do is go to your window settings and search up and search add or remove programs. And this will show you all your installed apps essentially. And the first thing you have to do is uninstall El Kinect 2. Right now I don't have it so I'm just going to show you what I would do if I wanted to uninstall El Kinect 3. You press these three dots right here, uninstall. And then after you do that, you want to make sure you restart, your, you restart your computer to get all the files out of there and make sure no glitches happen. And then you want to go to this website. I'm going to have it linked in the description. Download El Connect 3 here. Before we hop into my solution, I just wanted to show that they have a bunch of FAQs for El Connect 3. So if you have one of these problems, uh, you, can try, you can try following these FAQs. The directions are pretty good, but for me, they just wouldn't work. So you can try following some of these uh, solutions that Leanne Lee made. One thing to note about El Connect 3 is that it's pretty laggy. So even though I have like really good specs, I have a, a 12600K and a 3070 Ti. And I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so that's not the problem. Um, as you can see, it's just really laggy after I click. Uh, so the problem was I couldn't change the lighting effects or the fan speeds. And whatever I was doing, they just wouldn't change. So I went to settings. Um, I just changed some of these settings. You want to, I don't want it to auto run on boot. So I'm going to turn that off. But uh, you, you just some settings you can change. And you can update how many fans are in each port. You can just play around with it and see if the fans turn off. That's how you know if you got it right. What the problem ended up being for me was that my controller or fan hub was too old and the firmware hadn't been updated. And I don't know why it doesn't work here. You can't update check. It doesn't update check right on this button. So what you have to do is you have to manually update it. And you have to go to this link. I'm going to also have it down in the description. Press download. And you might need WinRAR for this. So if it doesn't work for you, try to install WinRAR. I'll also have this uh, link in the description. You got to download 64-bit. So that's going to be this page. Um, you have to open up your download. Click on this file folder. Close that. Click on the application. Double-click it to open it. Scan your PC for whatever controller you have. And for me, it won't say this for you because this is the updated version. Um... So you just keep going through with this, press browse, and you gotta click on whatever device you have. I have the SL120. Um, you don't need to have, if you've um, 140 millimeter fans, you can just press SL120, it'll still work, cause that's what happened to me. So just press SL120 or a streamer if you're trying to get a streamer to work. And then you gotta press this file right here. And now there's a warning for me because I already updated it, so for you, you probably won't have this error, and you can just press OK, and then start update, and it should work after you restart your computer. If this video ended up helping you, please subscribe and like. Um, I'm going to have a video of me installing streamer cables and doing some other things to my PC in about a week or so. So, if you made it this far, I guess thanks for watching.